So I've been thinking a little bit about what is a good analogy to illustrate this trade-off that we see between generality and capability when we start to talk about polymorphism and references. So I can create a method that accepts any, and that method cannot be passed any type of Kotlin object, but I can also create methods that take subtypes. And so the question is, you know, why would I ever write this really general method or and why would I write the subtype method? And here's the analogy I came up with, so bear with me. Maybe you have a car. Maybe you don't have a car, but you probably know about cars. So at least enough about cars to understand this analogy. You have to know a lot, right? Um, so cars, there are different types of cars. Different types of cars work differently. Uh, and you can imagine that if you are a mechanic, you might like learn more about a particular type of car. When you go to take your car for service, there are different types of garages you can take your car to that can service your car. Some of them do service across wide varieties of vehicles. So there's certain things where you can take your car to you know, a particular mechanic that works on like every single type of car. And there are certain things that that mechanic can do. They can check the oil, they can probably, you know, check the tire pressure and things like that. But, you know, they're only going to be able to do a limited set of things, but they can do that limited set of things on many, many different types of vehicles. In contrast, if I take my car, I have a Toyota. If I take my car, a very practical vehicle. If I take my car to a, to a garage that only works on Toyotas, they can't do work on a Ford or a Mazda or a Ferrari, right? They can only do work on Toyotas, but they can do more things to my car because they know more about it, right? So there's this trade-off between generality. So that garage that can service any type of car can service any type of car. So it's a very general place. Like anybody can take their car there, but there's only a certain limited number of things that they can do. So if you write a method that takes any, you can call two string, you can call these very small number of methods that every single Kotlin object will have, but that's it, right? Because to do more than that, you need to know more about the type of the object, and it's similar with cars. To do more to a car, you typically need to know or have some expertise that's attached to the type of model of the car, or the, the make of the car, right? And so that's why you find like special garages that only serve like Toyotas and Hondas, right? Or another garage that only serves Chevy's and GMC products, right? It's because they develop expertise, allowing them to do more, but at the cost of not being able to operate on many vehicles. So general methods typically are limited in what they can accomplish, right? But they can work over large numbers of different types of objects or cars. More specific methods or garages that only serve certain vehicles can do more service, they can do more operations but they can do them on a more limited number of vehicles or limited number of objects, right? So that's that generality versus capability trade-off. In general, as I move my method up towards any, it becomes more general, but there's less I can rely on that I can actually do with those, with those objects. As I move it down towards some types, I acquire the ability to work with the methods that are provided by those subtypes so I can potentially do more interesting things, but my method is able to run on fewer types of objects.